My name is Rebecca. I've just turned 18 years old. And I'm a double diploma student in Ecole Moser Nyon. Some subjects I was surprised how similar they were. And again, like the actual program is quite similar, but the actual understanding is different. In the IB, since you've got less subjects, you're obviously going to go deeper into those subjects because they, mm. you spend more time on them. Seeing it alongside the metro work, like the IB work and the metro work, were completely different, and the way of doing it like required very different parts of my brain or different ways to like to like study these things. I thought that was quite interesting to see the difference between between the two. So I think it requires a lot of like deeper like understanding of a certain topic, especially in like maths. In maths, metro, I was just applying what I had learned, well, like like very surface level, but in the IB I kind of needed to understand a bit beyond that to actually be able to answer the questions. Learning for chemistry was also different because in, in the metro I just basically learned how to name a lot of things and the rule to do that or like to recognize certain certain molecules. But in the IB it was a bit different because I had to again understand what I was actually doing and like apply and they would give us kind of hypothetical like situations like what would you do if you had to do this thing and also the real experiment we had for the IA, I thought that was pretty cool to actually see it with my own eyes mm. and not just learn about it quickly and not really understanding it. To me, at least, it was easier to like actually get work done and like actually be motivated because I wanted to do that. So I think that's what makes it different because like you're not just told to do it, you're told to make choices and work a bit on your own. I thought that TOK was... interesting but not in the way that I thought it was going to be when you really got me pushed me to think about it and when I was actually like properly trying to reflect on it and how I could answer the question because it was just it was annoying me so much that I ended up kind of enjoying it just because it was pushing me to figure out things that I didn't really know and like ways that I wasn't really thinking Cass was something that I also was not really sure of at the beginning. It was kind of explained in a way that I wasn't really understanding for some reason. I couldn't, un again, I couldn't understand what I was gonna get out of it at the end. But then again, I was, uh, I was fooled by that because I ended up finding it quite interesting. And I ended up, well, now I wanna do more in that sort of thing, which I guess is the point, but like, it makes me want to do more like for my community. And, and I think it's made me learn a lot about myself and, and the way I think, because since I had to write reflections about it, it kind of, at first it was a bit difficult to put my feelings into words, writing about these experiences. It was like weird, like, I didn't know like, what do you mean I have to write about how I felt? But then when I was doing it, like, it kind of made sense. Like, oh, it's kind of cool that I, like, I'm learning stuff about myself that I just would never have second guessed, never have thought of. So I think it was kind of cool to like, it was cool to do all these experiences, but also they made me learn a lot about myself while doing it.